I mean, when when I when I parted company with the band in 1980, it was announced that I had left the band, which was a lie. Um, uh, I was ousted from the band. Uh, in in it was very. I don't know. It was very sordid and dark and unfair, and it really. Uh, bothered me I, I was extremely angry about that for a very long time um, but eventually we got back together briefly in the late 80s and did three albums together and then it was I think I appeared with Andy a few times during the 90s just to help him out on various tours and all the rest of it um, and it wasn't until 2005 I think before I decided that um, I I had been to some of his shows and um, I used to go along now and again and you know it was it was nice to kind of hear the songs being played but I you know it was not a good representation of, of Wishbone Ash and it's music. I mean, how can you sing lyrics that you haven't written and, and uh, they're about your life and how can you sing them with any meaning when you don't understand what they're saying? Do you know what I mean? Right. So, I, I mean, it, it was, I won't, I won't say it was crap, you know, but it, it was, it was sad that people were going along to gigs because they like Wishbone Ash, and they were hearing Andy Powell's band um, and clapping politely, but there was no, there was no feeling, there was no passion in it. There was, it was just, um, you know, a representation of something that had gone before, and and really it could not be, have been further away. And I decided that. I would really, really like people to hear Wishbone Ash's music that contained the spirit that it was played with originally, you know? Right. So now with, with these guys here, so we've got Misha and Tim uh, and Danny. Um, how do they compare to the original Wishbone Ash for you? Does it feel Careful like the same now, energy? <laughs> yes there's there's there there is um a similarity to get there yeah i mean misha and danny are different as guitar players but that's what you need you need different flavors you know this guy's good at this this guy's good at that they it, it, they're just different um and that's exactly how the original wishbone ash was um tim also does bear a, a slight resemblance to Steve in, in, in his quirkiness and his unusualness and his his intensity um, it's, it's very similar similar feel to Steve and for, and for you guys what is it like you know playing with someone like Martin <laughs> <laughs> they're all they're all rushing to, they're all rushing to tell you about his eyebrows <laughs> that's what we do mainly we have to avoid the eyebrow because if we if we get the eyebrow then we know that we've stepped out of line <laughs> and po possibly played too played too many notes uh you know you get the eyebrows giving it that and martin is very abundant of eyebrow i'm, not even, quite I'm a not even aware eyebrow. i'm not even aware that I'm, i do this but yeah 